Hello everyone, um, my name's Gemma and this is The Daily Thread. Um, it's lovely to have you back with me today. It's just a short little catch up video today, so I hope that's um, all right for you. Um, I've got one finished make to show you, which is great. Um, but first of all, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. This is the Givre dress um, by Deer and Doe. I'll show you the, the pattern cover. Um, it's a jersey dress and mine is made in an art gallery cotton jersey. Um, it's not the most inclusive pattern, I have to admit. I think it goes from size 6 to size 18. Um, and I had to do a little bit of um, altering on this one. So it was quite, it sort of came out here under the arm. Um, I made this ages ago, so I can't actually remember if... I think I graded between sizes. Um, so yeah, I'll try and stand up to see if you can see it a little bit better. You can't really see where it comes to, but it comes just below the knee on me. Ugh, now I'll have to get back in position. <laughs> there we go. Apologies if you can hear any crazy squawking outside. Um, we have four chickens, which are our pets. They haven't just flown in. <laughs> four chickens in the garden and for some reason they're going mad today so they must be laying um so if you can hear the squawking that's what it is <laughs> um i just wanted to give a little mention to the lovely catherine over at the soverton makery um she mentioned me on her channel um and i just wanted to say thank you catherine that was very kind um so i'll leave catherine's details below and go over and have a look at her channel as well um, so, I bet you want to see my finished make, and it is da, 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 the Little Sunset Shirt by Waves and Wild for my son. Um, this was for his fifth birthday at the weekend, and he looked awesome wearing it. Um, I'm not going to pop a picture of him in, because I, I don't know if that's fair to him to pop him on the channel, but I did want to show you the shirt. And if you can see, um, they're not really focusing, but the buttons, um, they're little shells. And I just thought they went really nicely with um, this shark fabric. The buttons are from Pigeon Wishes. And I was trying really hard to find them. So I don't know if they're not producing them anymore, but um, they are a Pigeon Wishes button. Can't remember the name of it because I got rid of the packaging. So that's not very helpful, but there you go. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was it was a nice little make. Um, the buttonholes went in fine because it was a cotton. I have found that it does pull. You can see tiny little, again, not sure. Can you see that line there? Tiny little pull mark um, in this cotton because it is a quilting cotton. So I imagine it doesn't want a lot of messing about with. Um, but yeah, the sizing, I made a size six, like I say, it was for his fifth birthday. Now, I think he is quite tall for his age. Um, and we sort of thought that the front of the shirt might just be a little bit short. Well, not short, but maybe shorter than I'd like it to be. Um, and I think that's because, you know, little kids, they have quite a round tummy, don't they? And I just think... Maybe it sits a little bit shorter there. So I think when I make it again, I might just lengthen that short, uh, the front bit, just to cover his tummy a little bit more. But it doesn't show any tummy. It's just for my preference, really. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And he looked super cute. So that's my finished make this week. So I wanted to just show you something that I won on Instagram. And it's a tailor's ham. <laughs> Now, if you haven't heard of one of these, now, I don't even know. I can't get it out of the packet at the moment because it's sealed. But um, I won this from So Essential. And they're doing um, a weekly competition while the Great British Sewing Bee, Great British Sewing Bee is on TV. And if you're in um, the UK, you'll know what that is. But it's, if you're not, it's a sewing programme. And I'm sure you can catch it on the iPlayer if you've got access to that. Um, anyway, so um, you just had to tag a friend um, in this competition and uh, I won a tailor's ham. 
Now, if you're not familiar with what that's for, um, it's a pressing tool. So um, as you can see, it's curved. And when you make things like sleeves or if you sew darts in a garment to give some shaping, you don't want to press them flat because garments are 3D because they sit on a 3D body and you want it to sort of be curved. So that's why a tailor's ham is really good for that. So I'm chuffed with that. Thank you, So Essential. Um, I just wanted to chat about a couple of patterns that I've seen this week. Now, one of them is a brand new release and that is the peony dress from Fabric Godmother. Um, it's, if you've ever seen the vampire's wife it is just it looks quite like that style so it's actually something i've been looking for for ages it looks stunning um it's quite a sort of straight fit um bodice and skirt with a ruffle at the bottom and ruffles on the edge of the sleeve or flounces i suppose they are um so that is just gorgeous and i can't wait to make that so um, I was just looking actually, that one comes in sizes 6 to 30, so it is quite inclusive and all the ones I've seen haven't really had to modify it, so I'm hoping that I won't have to do any changes to that one. Um, let's just see, so the recommended fabrics are viscose, crepe, silk and cotton lawn um, because it needs quite a bit of drape. But if you did want a little bit more of a structure to it, you could use a, a lightweight denim, a cord or a cotton poplin. And I think you put an extra little bit of fabric in the puff of the sleeve. Let me see if you can see this. <laughs> I will pop in a picture instead of that because it's not showing you great, but it is just a beautiful dress. So I would really like to make that one. And the other dress that I've really been seeing a lot of this week, and it's been out um, a little while, not too long, maybe a month or so, um, and it's the Laura dress by True Bias. Now, Sandeep from Sister Mintaka, she's made two versions now, and she just looks amazing. Um, again, I'll pop a picture in so you can see that. Um, but yeah, Sandeep has inspired me. Let's see if I can just quickly find that one. So I can tell you the sizes. Um, I should have prepared that, shouldn't I? Just bear with. Uh, okay. Any time today. <laughs> okay, nearly there. So this comes in sizes 0 to 18. I'm not sure if they've done a separate version with the larger sizes. Um, hopefully they have, because I think True Bias is quite good at including all, all sizes. Um, but it says it's, a, it's an empire waist dress with four views. Um, all of them have like under bust gathers. Um, 12 loop buttons and um, one of the views has spaghetti straps and the other one has long puff sleeves so it just looks really really pretty and I think I'm gonna have to give that one a go at some point as well um yeah so the fabric to use on that one is light to medium weight woven fabric such as linen cotton or viscose so yeah I just thought I'd mention those two patterns this week um because they've really caught my eye like, like I said at the beginning, um, a short and sweet one today. I hope you're all well and I hope to be back with you again next time. See you soon. Bye.